Hey friend, so I just finished reading this book called Dumbing Us Down by John Taylor Gatto. It was gifted by the wonderful Keisha. I'll talk a bit more about her and what she's doing in a bit. But yeah, I just want to pull out a few ideas or issues from this book that I believe can be applied anywhere. So this book is essentially a collection of essays and speeches done by this man, John Taylor Gatto. He was a school teacher for over 30 years and he basically thinks that the school system in America basically produces zombies. <laughs> Not literally what he said, but it basically serves its purpose to produce obedient people and to serve the political and economic agenda. This idea wasn't foreign to me before reading this. I kind of had that awareness that the school system sucks <laughs> and it basically, you know, punishes people for being creative and rewards people for you know, obeying certain rules. And basically the whole idea of this book is that there's no need for a school reform. The system is made for what it is right now and it has served its purpose. Instead, the book argues that we need um, an alternative option for schooling or education. Hence the growth of homeschooling or um, an alternative method of schooling, forest schooling and all that stuff. The kind of education that is actually useful and it actually builds the human character even deeper and not just going by the book or being spoon-fed. I know from first-hand experience that I was indeed very book smart and I was a perfect product of that system. I got straight A's almost all the time, I obeyed the rules, I didn't dare to like you know even skip school or be late for school. I remember I cried once for being late for school. <laughs> it kind of built my character of obedience and submission and reservation and I kind of hated that truly and I wish I had done schooling differently but I don't blame anyone for this because no one knew better I guess. My parents put me in school so that I can live comfortably and basically survive in this capitalistic world which is, it makes sense, you know? You go to school, you get the grades, you get the job, the high paying job and then you rent or buy a house. It just serves the current capitalistic world and the current economy. I'm glad that I kind of got out of the mentality of that and I find that is very superficial and materialistic. For some people, it suits them well, which is fine. Like if, you know, getting high paying jobs, getting all the cars, the houses, the apartments and all that, that it doesn't suck your soul out, then by all means do it. But then at what cost is that? Is it destroying the earth? Is it destroying, you know, your relationships? I guess I kind of got this awareness. Once I got out of the school system and especially when I studied abroad, even though I was still part of a schooling system at university but it's a different kind of schooling system that that I had been used to and even um, in my final years of schooling life for the final two years I went from public school to a private school in that private school I felt that I get more value out of it than I had ever gotten out of like being in public school and I guess like the most fun I had was early primary school when you didn't have to think about exams and all that real world stuff so in the middle of your schooling life that is where well for me at least that it kind of destroyed my childhood or it destroyed my childlike manner or personality or you know intentions or whatever you call it but yeah like going to the private school like there were definitely more opportunities like in terms of extracurricular for example i i got i bleh, I got to do yoga, I got to do dance a bit more and I felt a bit more liberal in a sense. Private school was I guess the kind of initiator of like seeing the world in a different light. And then um, university, living in a different country, away from your family, away from what you grew up with, it definitely helped you to like grow a lot quicker and see things in a different light. And definitely university is very like self-driven kind of environment and it's not like spoon feeding kind of in a system, even though there was a level of spoon feeding, but you know, as not as much as during your school life. It was definitely a culture shock going to university. I was so used to being directed, being told what to do and all that. So I really did struggle to, you know, find my way, find the balance, find my own discipline and self-direction. But yeah, overall it was a good lesson and 
a good experience. You know, I kept wondering like, what if I had a different kind of education? For example, Billie Eilish, she was homeschooled all her life and now she's in her early 20s right now and she's like one of the most successful musicians. So I believe that kind of education that she had nurtured her creativity, nurtured her strengths, her best potential. Look at my babies. I just repotted them and add some soil and this is Ike Suba. It's it's still alive. <laughs> and yeah, this is agave plant. I think it's the name. I call it Ve. And then this is Kalancho. I call it K. I think it's dying a bit. But yeah, please please Stay alive, okay? All right. And I believe that, you know, lots of like Asian culture, we don't celebrate this or we don't recognize this. Um, we think that the safest and most successful route is to go to, you know, the most common one, like being a doctor, being a lawyer, engineer, and all that, you know, usual Asian mentality. I think it has brought more dissatisfaction than anything else. I know a lot of people who are not happy with where they are. They don't like their 9 to 5 job that they just they just hate it but they have to go through it otherwise they wouldn't be able to survive and that's the economic system that we live in that we basically reward those who obey, who you know be in a proper structure, in a company. We don't really reward more creative endeavors or more self-directed endeavor and basically not allowing other alternatives to grow. And I feel that the conventional school system actually made us lose our sense of being and our sense of community. Even though, you know, in schools you are with friends, you are with a community, but you're stuck in that bubble and all your experience and your knowledge is confined in that and you come out not knowing how to deal with other social situations. You know, sending your kids to school so that you can go and find work, it just segregates that familial bond and you only have time for your kids during the weekend which is like two days out of seven days a week and is that enough especially if you work over time until late at night when your kids go to bed early or not i don't know it depends it just doesn't build that family bond that one needs to actually you know stick together so i don't think that that helps build that family bond that people need to deal with tough situations when it comes to it and i think that it just makes us very disconnected from basically everything in the world like not just family but like how to grow your food how to build something from scratch how to fix things you know all that essential skills like sure there are some um, classes that kind of teach us to do that but it, they're very basic and they only touch the surface. I think this is one of the reasons why we kind of lost our connection with nature, with the animals, that we just don't care about them because it wasn't in the forefront of our minds. Yeah sure we were taught about biology, ecology, a bit of chemistry. They're all very spread out and it's not like focused and it's very theoretical and in the book you don't get the kids to go to a factory farm or to go to a to a, an agricultural land to actually spend time with the farmers for a few days you know because skills and knowledge take days or even weeks to develop to strengthen but then you only touch the basics here and there for a short period of time and then you do the exams and you forget about it. I think it makes children more confused if not anything. So what's the solution to all of this? Well the book doesn't really uh, state like a specific a set of steps that you know we have to do because if you think about it there are actually several ways to go about this it's hard to change the school system because it's gotten so big and widespread and it's just it serves its purpose so there's really no need to like change it or anything but if someone is looking for an alternative way to teach their children as suggested by the author you could just let them manage themselves children are very intuitive creatures and if you you know let them explore let them be they'll eventually find what they're drawn to and what they're good at and i personally quite like the idea of like school in the forest i think this is in germany like they let children into the forest and let them 
play around like you know like in a playground except that it's with nature so that they you know have a very active contact with dirt and with the trees and the insects and all that I just let them get to know the natural wonder I'm a big believer of like hands-on exploration you know some people would have gotten out fine like it depends on different personalities because I was kind of naturally a shy and introverted person so I didn't go out of my way to explore much as opposed to like a more extroverted child who you know just don't listen to their teachers and would just disobey and do things by themselves they're more likely to be what people say street smart those are generally but not always the people who you know didn't do well in exams but they are good in some other things in that case like that person got out of the school system in a different way hopefully they found their way in you know the real world as well as for me like the more quiet and introverted kind i wish i had explored more and i wish i had say work in a cafe even i never worked in a cafe and that's a really a shame to me like now that i think about it in schools you're taught more about theoretical and you're basically still in the safe space even though you explore scientific experiments you explore some carpentry they're all in the safe space but if you know we allow children to you know go into the real world and actually do a kind of like an internship or a volunteership with real organizations or real companies then i think that would definitely widen their horizons a bit more let them have a feel of you know the real deal and whether it suits them or not integrating children in the real world a lot younger we always want to protect children from the so-called adult life or the real world but i think we need to expose them earlier on so that they know what they're dealing with once they go out of school and not you know to give them a shock and end up being very depressed or anxious or not in control last point i want to make is that parents or guardian should play a more active role in a children's life sure that they might have you know their full-time jobs and all that but i think in my opinion a parent or guardian's job is not just to give food or shelter or clothing there needs to be an element of mental uh, emotional nurture as well but then you know parents or guardians might you know say oh that's the teacher's role i think it's you know the adult's role <laughs> if they are responsible for their child but of course it's not to belittle those who actually do their best but it's just that there needs to be a more emotional or mental help in that child's life i know this is weird in the asian culture where you know emotional connection is very rare and weird like we asians are just very direct very straightforward and we don't do all that lovey-dovey stuff not everyone of course but you know i would say majority of asians here we show our love differently that's that's what i say most asians show their love in wealth material wealth like the more material items you give your child the more love that it means that's my observation so far i might be wrong i don't know i can't say for sure that i'm making sense but yeah i just basically more <laughs> communication on a deeper level yeah thank you keisha for giving me this book all this while i've been learning and knowing about this topic from like a third person point of view but reading this book from the first person point of view actual person who has gone through the schooling system and realized that it sucks <laughs> kind of like strengthened my opinion even more about the school system maybe one day if i do decide to have kids i would make more of an effort to provide them a wholesome education like you are doing so yeah i would encourage you to follow keisha and her family on instagram via world schooling or just a, a bunch of just, just they, they're a big family a big beautiful family and the education that they give their children is so holistic and it's so self-directed and giving the children the choice to do what they want and do what they feel like doing what they like to do it's such a joy to to look at what they're doing and you know how they're just you know learning through life so yeah thank you so much keisha Mwah. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you gained something from it. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. I post every week. I've been keeping to a consistent schedule. I hope you have a great day ahead. Stay safe, stay clean, eat more fruits and veg. Yeah, bye.